What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Mega Mikey here. And in my video called How Does Mega Mikey Get His Couch Potatoes, I have gotten pre uh, multiple comments and tweets asking uh, how do you, you know, stack plots. And uh, people have been, uh, I, I mean, I've told people, you know, you can look up on YouTube. I know that there are like a few tutorials out there and they said they're not that helpful and they're from medium plots. And they don't show how to triple stack. So the way that I triple stack is that I have a plot of 42. So it's 14 per layer. And it works. That's how, you know, my storm has his garden. But as of right now, I'm on my, I'm on my balance. And the plots that you see behind me are only double stacked. And it's only 24. So I'm going to get them to 42. You know, like over there is something. But, um... Uh, as of right now, it is a uh, member benefit, so I do get double gardening rewards and stuff like that. Pro uh, when you guys are watching this video, it's probably not out. Um, it may be if, you know, there's a benefit going on by the time you're watching this video. Who knows? But um, So, yeah, I got my garden here. It's not fully elder, but... Uh, uh, and then I have, you know, a mini EMP garden here. So I'm going to teach you how to triple stack uh, the large plots, not the medium plots, because... I mean, I don't really need to triple stack the medium plots, and there are tutorials out there. But as for the large ones, I will show you guys how to do that. And these cuts of tails on the side here aren't elder, but that's okay. They'll be elder soon. But um, here we go. So first things first, I know somebody in the comments is probably typing I'm the realist. Like, they're probably looking for the part where I said first things first, and they're going to... Okay, now I'm going to expect comments like that. All right, so... In order for this to for this to work, you need um I think uh your item count for your house. I think you need like at least have a hundred. I'm not quite sure. I think you need eighty four because um I well, know you need nine and then you know, I I don't really know. Just just make sure that you're not full and you're not, you know, like above two hundred or something like that. So of uh, I'm going to start out like for the sake of t I don't know how long this video will take me but it may you know like cause a bit of frustration cuz whenever I do this it does take a while it took an hour last time so I'm going to try not to do that but all right I'm just going to get into it quick so what you're going to have to do you're going to have to have crates uh crates that I have are okay come on all right the crates that I have are hot dogs Okay, I'm dropping frames, which means I'm lagging, so. Oh, boy. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause and stop the recording. I don't know why I'm lagging so bad. Okay. Um, so, I have crate of hot dogs, crate of jelly beans, and dark wood crates, and crate of pumpkins. All of those work, but there's, like, this other thing that's called crate, which is, like, a lot smaller than these. You you specifically need those. Hot Crate of hot dogs, crate of jelly beans, Crate of pumpkins and dark wood crates. Those are the ones that I use. So, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need nine. Now, you have to angle this like properly, or it's really not gonna work. So, uh, you need 18 crates, not nine, sorry. Forgot about that. Uh, you need 18 crates. I actually think I need to move this over. So, uh, for, for example, like if you're in the red barn farm, which you may be, uh, and you have a patch like this. If possible, like, try to, like, if you're doing this, like, following, a, like, if you're following along with me right now, just, like, uh, put it, uh, like, let me see. If you start all the way from, like, where the little brown part of the patch starts, go one, all right, go one, two, three, four, five spaces. I may be wrong on this, but, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, because... I triple stacked here before, but I removed it. I put it in my storm's house, but all right. So once again, you need twelve crates. I mean, eighteen. Nine times two, eighteen. So this is if you want a triple stack, you need that. All right. Yep, I have enough. And then you want to put. If you mess up, you may need to like plow it and restart. And for this sake, I I have um. 163 energy. It's why I still have a lot of energy. I actually messed it up, so I have to move it over just just by a little bit. But uh, at 160, make sure you have a lot of energy for this because um, while you're moving them, you're gonna replenish quickly. Depending if you're a member or not, you're gonna replenish pretty quickly. But 
I mean, you wouldn't want to do this with like 30 energy because you're going to, you know, get a bit frustrated and you're going to want to finish and you may not be able to because you have the lack of energy. So, um, I think this should be fine. I may speed some parts up. I might. Yep. This is perfect. Yep. Now look at this tip right here, guys. Um, once this is done you're gonna see a little tip at the end right here you need to make sure that your next soil matches up like directly next to it so once you have it like that like once it's you know like in the air like that you get your crates and then you move it slightly like so like, like you just move like one space over so there's that opening and you gotta move all the other crates over it it's and then um just like like just move that over and you're gonna start from there so i mean i can't really explain it it's just good that I'm like doing a visual so you could follow along. So, um, okay. And once you moved all that over, then you can go ahead and place down your other one. You see how it like l cleanly lines up like that? Hang on. All right, you see how it lines up like that? That's what, that's what you want. So, uh, this is going, I think think this is going well I think I may have had to move that over some I'm not 100% sure hopefully we don't have to get to that but uh if it if if I do then it's fine I will honestly just speed it up and then just you know like correct myself because this this will take a while plot twist I'm not recording this <laughs> I finished everything and I forgot to press the record button that would be horrible Okay. Now, if I put that there, is that how I like it? You have to make sure it's... That is not how I like it. So I actually do have to move it over. But that is just my preference. So like I said, if that happens, I will speed it up. Okay, fix it to my preference. I just had to move it over a little bit. Honestly, it does take that much effort just to move it over, like, just to the way that you want it to be. Other than that, it honestly may not even work. But, I mean, I'm telling you this right now, you will get, you. I mean, depending what kind of person you are, you may get frustrated, you may get upset, but honestly, if you're, like, really dedicated and you have a lot of cast potatoes and you just... You know, like when I put it all out in one, like I usually do, then triple stacking is worth it. It's time consuming, but you won't have to fr frustrate yourself if you have energy, because you may be plowing and unplowing stuff like that, but you gotta have a lot of energy for that. Other than that, you're gonna have to keep waiting and waiting, so. Wait for that. There we go. So, basically, it's gonna be a three three on this side and then four across like in the center so it's gonna be like three I'll, I'll explain it once I get there but like as of right now I'm just gonna say that it's gonna be three four four three and three plus four plus four plus three is fourteen uh so yeah oh gosh I'm dropping frames again one sec I honestly do not know why I was dropping frames like that. It may happen often. I'm sorry. I can't really control that. But like I said, I'm trying not to like t make this long. So so there is your three. That is the way that I want it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I honestly, I mean, I think it's okay. I mean, I'm not 100% sure on it, but... Uh, I don't even know if it'll work, mainly because the way that the couch potatoes are, like, like the plots are set up. Uh, will this work? Hang on, let's see. I know this may be, like, an awful tutorial, but, like, hopefully you guys are following along, because, like, the way, I can't describe how this is done. 
it's just that I've seen it be done, so I picked up from that. It's not like I can, you know, like, give out, like, you know, like, uh, just like a speech as to, like, how you do it. I can't do that, because I, I just watched it be done, so. Uh, that is not good. Can I move this over a bit? Yes, okay, I think... I can't move it any more further than that, so hopefully this is... Hopefully this is gonna work. You're also gonna need open space. If you're, like, in a tight area, you're gonna have to, like, move stuff around and, like, get stuff away from you. Is that good? Not really. Oh, gosh. No, okay. I may have to res like I may have to shift all of this over now. I'm telling you guys, it's a frustration, but like You know, I I'll, I'll I'll go with it. Let let's see. Well, let me see. I'll go with it. If it doesn't work, then I'll obviously shift it over and I'll like pause the video. But hopefully you guys are getting like the idea of it and how it's done. Like Okay. You guys may be wondering if there is a uh, quicker way to move the crates instead of, you know, like moving them one by one. No, there is not. I think you could put it on a rug or something, but even so, I think it'll just like glitch out. I'm not 100% sure. And actually, guys, I think this is the way I want it. I'm not, like, once I line this up, I'll determine if it is. And if so, then you guys will obviously, like, understand where I'm coming from with the triple stacking. So, I think I honestly could have moved up the plots, too, to, like... Go on the patch, because that'll, like, bother me a little bit. Like, just a little bit of OCD, how it's not, like, in the middle. That'll bother me, but... I mean, it's not gonna, like, make me grab a belt flip the table or anything, so... It might, though. It might. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yes! Actually, no, this is actually how I want it. Yes, this is perfect. If you're at a red barn farm, follow, like, exactly what I did, and I think you'll be fine. The only issue is, you see how the how these four are like great. You see those three in the back; they have to be centered, and I'm gonna fix that right now. Uh, I won't speed it up. Actually, I might, but. Once again, hopefully you guys are picking up, you know, the uh, concept of, you know, like the first layer and how it's done. You basically, like, let me just sum it up for you guys. You basically just need nine crates. You need a stack uh, six. No, you guys, no, you need 18 crates. So you got to stack. Okay, I might got to move that over. Um, You just got to put nine on nine and then... You know, like, start wherever your preference is, you know, like, um, and then just, like, start from a certain spot 
and you got to end at a certain spot. And it's got to be angled properly or else it may not work. I say may not because I haven't tried any other ways for it not to work because I only do it the correct way. I don't know why you wouldn't want to, you know, like experiment and see if it doesn't work the first time unless, you know, you're being told to experiment or to, you know, test it out for future purposes you may just want to do it the first time and get it over with that's 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 just how i do it anyway so here we go uh does it yeah that's is that better let me see yes okay oh okay i think all my couch potatoes are elder now well not all because obviously one of them needs a need so Oh, this is so tiring. I'm telling you guys, you guys will, like, depending, like, how much of a patient person you are, you're honestly probably just gonna, like, grab a little flip table, honestly. Oh, so you guys are wondering, like, why it keeps flashing like that? It's just because, like, my plants are either, like, refreshing itself or, like, rotating. It does that often, so. Alright, plow this. I'm gonna go check what's going on, actually. One of them turned older. Are they all older? Yeah. Why does it still say that I have needs to them? Everything's older. Fresh. I honestly don't know why. Whatever. There we go. See how that matches up? You want that. Now I just got to move that over so it lines up, like, you know, with the others. And then I'm going to, you know, cut the video. And I'm basically just going to get this and then put on the other side. So I'm going to be like Houdini up in this. You're going to see this basically multiply to the way that I want it to. And hopefully you'll understand because basically I just went through the entire thing. All you got to do is really just flip it over and you're done. Boom, with the, th with the first top layer. I don't know if you understood what I just said, but you could probably just go back and listen to a slow motion. Like you're probably going to do with this one now because I'm talking too fast. Like, whoa. Okay. And there you have it guys the three and the four here are finished I'm going to do the four and then the three so I'll be back but this is basically how it looks like here I'm gonna show you guys from an aerial point of view so what I'm gonna do is wait one second I'm gonna show you guys from like a high aerial point of view one sec this is how it's done right here okay so I'm just gonna get a castle block there we go. So I'm just gonna put that right here for purposes. All right. So so this is this is like a very high area. Oh, um, you can only do that with the castle block. But this is how it looks. Uh, I'm gonna come back with it basically just doubled, and you guys are gonna see how it looks. So I'll be back.
All right, guys, I'm going to, um, you know, take over the speeding of the video for a little bit. Um, basically, now that I'm on the third part, like, you know how I said I was going to do, like, a 3, 4, 4, 3? Well, I'm on the 3 part right now. And remember how I said uh, how, like, it has to be, like, lined up precisely? You see how those four are lined up? The 3 in the back have to be lined up, too. So it may be a bit difficult, but... It's not. All you have to do is just make sure. Like, see that three over there? You just got to make sure that it lines up perfectly like this. It's angled. Like, um, here, I'll get a aerial shot real, real quick. But you see how it's, like, like precisely, like, lined up here? Uh, oh, I may got to, oh, I have to move it up a little bit. Oh, my gosh. All right, here we go. Now, as I mentioned before, it's lined up. And here's the aerial shot. See? It's like parallel, as you can say. So I'm going to finish the other three. Should not be long. Alright guys, I'm done with the first layer. May I remind you for couch potatoes, you do not need enchanted soil, you need regular. If you use enchanted, you literally just waste energy. Enchanted costs three, regular costs one, and you're fine with regular. So here it is. It almost looks like a honey, like you guys know this cereal called honeycomb? That is honestly what this looks like, guys. Like, no joke. Hold on a sec. So think of your plots as like a honeycomb. By the way, um, I still remember the names of the people who, like, made this for me, and I can't thank you enough. Noah Deathcaster, if you even know who I am, I met you, like, in 2011 or something, you taught me how to do this, I don't remember, I think it was, in 2011. And then, in he taught me how to stack, and then Angel Hex taught me how to, you know, do the 14. So, this is what I mentioned, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So... You know, that is it. Like, that's basically the top layer for triple stacking. This That's what you need. Uh, the second layer is really self-explanatory. I'm only going to do the first... Like, like I'm only going to do a little bit for you guys because it's so easy. I don't even need to... It's the, it's the top layer that's hard. For the second layer, uh, you only need nine crates this time. You only need nine. Almost there. Okay. So here we go. Um, you see, w for the second layer, it's so self-explanatory. All you need to do is line it up. Because now that you're below the third one, all you have to do is just make sure that the one that you place below it lines up. Like, perfectly. Other than that, it's not going to work. It's not as hard as the top layer because you don't have to like angle it because it's already kind of done for you. You already know where to place it. You just got to place it like directly under. See, look. I place it. Oh, that's a medium. Wait, no, that's not medium. It's large. Okay, you see how it's not done? Okay, so. Oh my gosh, move. Okay. That. 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 The second layer is less time consuming, trust me. Like, you don't have you know, tall crates in your way. Like, you actually have a little bit more visual of, you know, where to move crates. So. I 
Okay, and see how it perfectly lines up under? Uh, all you gotta do is just do that, and you gotta make sure not to, like, mess it up, really. Um, I'm gonna move that over, move that over. Almost there. Okay, I just gotta move back a little bit. Line that up. Sorry if you guys couldn't see that, but you basically just move the crates. Uh, oh, that's not where I'm supposed to move it. I'm supposed to keep moving it over here. What am I doing? What am I doing? See? And then after that, you don't even need to worry about lining it up under. As long as these two touch, like those two points touch, you automatically know that you're under like for the third part for the fir for the fourth part I will get into that in a sec and then after that I'm gonna pause and come back And there we go. That lines up perfectly. So you just got to keep going with that flow, guys. And then you'll be done with your second layer. So I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to finish the second layer as you guys see how to do it. And then I'm going to come back with the third layer once I'm done. All right, guys. So finally done with the second layer. I hope you guys didn't have trouble. And I hope you guys, you know, with the first few examples that I did, that you guys were able to, you know, understand it. So, um second layer is officially done it that itself took me 15 minutes so i mean probably like less maybe like 10 but um i'm gonna give you guys another aerial view of how it looks you see it's basically like a honeycomb um thing you know like uh three four four three yeah it's like a honeycomb like if you guys like seeing honeycombs like i don't know if i have the the snack in my bag i probably don't but there's something called like honey rinds um I, I probably don't have it, but honey rinds, it's like, um, hexagon, really, it's kind of like a hexagon shape type thing, one, two, three, four, I, I, I don't know anymore, um, but I'm, I'm probably, I, what, what I just said probably made, like, no sense, but it kind of does look like a honeycomb or whatever you guys, you know, I want to view it as, so, now for the best part of this entire tutorial, now that you're done with the top top layer and then you're done with the top layer which is the second layer so once you're done with the third and the second the most like the, like the best part of this tutorial is the bottom layer because honestly you, you don't you don't even need crits for the bottom layer you see all you gotta do is line it up line it up and you're good and then and then like that's really the end of it there like once you're done with your with your third and second you just literally line everything up. So then that's how, that is honestly, guys, how I do my triple stacking. Uh, honestly, if you're like me and you have, you know, two gardens, uh, I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to make another one. So that itself took me, I think, 45 minutes to an hour. Looks like I'm gonna use another 45 minutes to an hour to do another one, but. I have to do it. Like, as of right now, I can't put it back any time longer because, as you see at the top, it says member benefit, like member gardening bonus, double experience in the reward. That means I'm getting double couch potatoes. Uh, and I'm going to have a lot more than what I have now. And that's a double layer. And I'm kind of going to need a triple stack, which is what I'm doing. So. Oh god, this is gonna be a while. And that concludes my how to triple stack 42 large plot garden tutorial. I hope you guys found this tutorial, you know, understandable and helpful because uh, a lot of people have been commenting how do you plot, like how do you do a large plot, and I said you could, you know, look it up because I can't really explain it. 
um but they said it wasn't too helpful so i decided to just make one so hopefully you guys found it very helpful if you did please drop a like and if you know anybody that wants to triple stack that does not know how to uh show them this video hopefully it'll help them i tried not to make it too long even though it's 30 minutes but i mean it was really time consuming it took me like an hour and i did speed some parts up and it still decided to take 30 minutes so uh, I hope I'm not, like, dragging this on, even though I kind of am. I just wanted to say, like, a last few minute thing. So, uh, as for, you know, like, if you have Couch Tales, for example, and you're putting the likes on, uh, I put mine to float on top, but you don't have to. There's a there's a way to float it on top, but I'm not, you know, going to show that. But uh, a much easier way that I don't do is to just get the likes and put them off to the side. Like, uh, like Couch Tales, like, litter, you can just put it, like, off to the side by the plants, and it should get it, like like it should be within reach but depending as to how close you put it so put it like fairly close along with the litter sandwich station you know the gnomes and stuff like that uh king parsley those are all the things that cash potatoes like so uh that are additional stuff anyway so that is that and as of right now on the screen you are going to see that uh once you put the garden gnomes in the middle which i can't really like um which i won't show but like um if you have large spells that cost 15 to 25 energy, you know, like the like the ones that take care of all of your plant needs or like all of them for 48 hours, that's what it look like. Like that's the duration of how, like that's like that's the reach of, you know, like like that little blue ring is basically where it'll reach. So it'll reach all around your castle shield. So don't worry about it. You know, like not getting, you know, the you know, the protection that it needs uh, and stuff like that. I can't really explain that, but just know, like, if um you, like, put the garden gnome in a center, like, if you put, like, the garden gnome in the center of your plants and you put your spell on that garden gnome, um, it will, like, make, like, a blue rim, and then all of your plants will be, you know, covered, and it'll be within range for your protection. So I'm not going to drag this video on any longer. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Once again, if you find it helpful, please leave a like. Share with anyone who is having trouble with this. This has been Mega Mikey. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be down below in the description. Check out my How I Get My Mega Snacks video. That will also be in the description. And I will see you guys in my next video.